Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, welcome. It has been a while since I filmed a hygiene empties video. So since I went through a good amount of product, I wanna share with you guys what I used up. Let's hop into this empties video. Starting with the hand soaps, I went through quite a few of those. First up is Rose and Lychee. This had notes of wild rose, sugared lychee, and delicate raspberries. I had this in both the hand soap and the three wick candle, and I enjoyed it in both forms. So if this scent were to return, I would repurchase it. Next up is Queen Charlotte's Tea. It has notes of rich bergamot, bold citrus, and black tea leaves. Really enjoyed this at the kitchen sink. Wish I would have got another one, but I have so many hand soaps that I'm trying to get through. I literally only purchased I believe it was two new scents that were released this year this one and one other one that's in the bag so most of my soaps that you're going to see are soaps that I had prior to this year um, but I really enjoyed this one and if a fragrance like this comes back in the hand soap I would pick it up again Ocean Driftwood, this packaging with this like iridescentness to it was what made me pick this hand soap up because to me, Ocean Driftwood just smells like mahogany teakwood. It has scent notes of beachside oak, sea wash mahogany, and ocean lavender. So to me, this is just like the summer version, summer packaging of mahogany teakwood. Enjoyed this as a bathroom soap, but I mainly picked this up for the packaging because it was just so pretty but I can pass on Ocean Driftwood. Being the fresh lover that I am, Cotton and Freesia, I believe I have two more of this one in my stash. When I smelt this one, I believe I hauled 40s when it first came out. It has soft cotton, jasmine, and fresh woods. Really nice bathroom hand soap. You could use this in the kitchen as well, but I enjoyed it more in the bathroom, and I can't wait to pull out another one to use because I really enjoyed this one, and I don't think... I think it returned one more time um, after this package release, but I haven't seen it recently. So really, really enjoyed this one. Definitely will repurchase it. White Iris and Cedarwood was another good one that I picked up last year. It has notes of Iris Blossoms, Winter Cedarwood, and Glimmering Snowflakes. Really enjoyed this one. If it returns, I would definitely repurchase it. And I believe I had this one at my kitchen sink. Sweet Tea and Lemonade was another one that I enjoyed at my kitchen sink. This was from last year. Brewed Sweet Tea, Fresh Squeezed Lemons, and Sugar Crystals. I did purchase it in the candle last year, and I did repurchase it in the candle form this year, but I did not pick up the hand soap again. If it comes back next year and I end up getting through more of my stash, I would definitely repurchase it. Then we have Leather and Brandy, another goodie. I believe I used this in the bathroom. Sent notes of Warm Leather, Amber Woods, and Aged Brandy love this in the candle form and enjoyed it in the hand soap as well then i used up balsam and bergamot scent notes are balsam branches crisp air and zesty bergamot um i think i enjoyed this more in the hand soap than the candle because i did have the three wick candle both forms were nice but i enjoyed the hand soap more Brightest Bloom was the other hand soap that I picked up this year that was new to my stash i really enjoyed this in the candle form and the body care so i went ahead and grabbed the hand soap it has sent notes of Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Samba, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. Really enjoyed this in the hand soap, and I believe I used this one in the bathroom. It made a really nice bathroom hand soap. Wildberry Lemonade was used at my kitchen sink. This was a nice, fun, fruity scent. Old Fashioned Lemonade, Crushed Raspberries, and Frozen Cherries. If this returned um, next summer, then I would definitely pick it up again. Really enjoyed this one at the kitchen sink. And the last hand soap that I went through, Coconut Sandalwood. This has sent notes of coconut palm, luxurious sandalwood, and warm musk. I use this at the bathroom, and I love the three-wick candle. I make sure I get the three-wick once a year. So when I saw this in hand soap form, I had to pick it up. Definitely repurchase worthy. Then I finished up two antibacterial moisturizing hand sanitizers, Waikiki Beach Coconut and Japanese Cherry Blossom. I like the moisturizing hand sanitizers and I liked it in both fragrances, so I would repurchase these again. And then two more hand sanitizers that I finished up, Fresh Rainfall and Lavender and Vanilla. Love both of these fragrances and both forms are good on my hands. I like the antibacterial hand spray and the gel formula, so I would repurchase both of these. Then shockingly, I only went through one hand cream, the Hyaluronic Acid one. This scent reminded me of the Water Body Butter and Body Care line that came out recently this summer. And I think I did back this one up because the fragrance just goes with a lot of different fresh um 
you know, hand sanitizers. I like to use these after I sanitize my hands to keep my hands from drying out. So definitely would repurchase this one. Then I managed to finish up two fine fragrance mists at the beach and Gingham Love. Gingham Love, I liked it. It was a nice scent, but it wasn't my favorite. So I would pass on this one if it returned. I did enjoy at the beach, mostly layering it with other coconut, beachy or fresh fragrances that I had in my stash. This one didn't have long lasting power. And Gingham Love lingered on my clothes more than my skin. So um, enjoyed both fragrances, but I would probably shoot for At The Beach more than Gingham Love. I didn't know I had this little mini in there. Water Lily Springs was really nice and it was actually full bottle worthy, but because I have so many fine fragrance mists, I didn't want to add any more large bottles to my stash. Really enjoyed this one on its own and layering it with other fresh aquatic scents that I had. Um, don't have the scent notes on there, but this one was really nice. If it returns, I would definitely repurchase it and I would probably get it in the full size bottle because I really enjoyed this one. Then I used up Gingham Unstoppable. Really enjoyed this in the body care and in the home fragrance form. I do have like half of the cream left and I don't know why I didn't pick one up at semi-annual sale to have as a backup, but I do have other fresh fragrances that I could layer with the body cream. This is definitely repurchase worthy. I love fresh, clean, like linen scents and that's what this leaned towards. So definitely will pick this one up again if it returned. Really enjoyed I'm a Musk from Finery. This is a nice, fresh, clean, um, kind of like a linen powderiness to it. Um, definitely will be purchased this one because I'm just a fresh fragrance lover. On me, it had pretty good lasting power and I did wear it on its own and layer it with other things in my stash. So I would definitely pick this one up again if it's still available. Oh, I did have another antibacterial hand spray in there. Chasing Fireflies. I know this wasn't everybody's jam, but I did pick it up in the body care. I believe I had it in the hand soap. I might still have the hand soap and didn't get to it yet. I picked it up in pretty much every form I could, but I don't think I got it in the EDP because the spray, the fine fragrance mist was pretty strong for me and long lasting. So I was good with that. I have it in the body butter and I think the moisturizing body wash. So I really enjoyed this fragrance. It sucked that for me, the candle didn't perform well. So I ended up returning it. Really nice fragrance if you enjoy powdery perfumey florals. Then I finished up a Middle Eastern perfume that I bought off of Amazon. I believe it's pronounced Dalal. This was like sweet and powdery. So I really enjoyed this one. And I think I was pairing it with Twilight Woods. I can't remember, but I would definitely repurchase this again. It was a really nice fragrance and it had good lasting power. And then the last item, my Dove Original. Y'all know I love this deodorant spray. Always will repurchase it over and over and over again. This and the rose one are my top two picks. My daughter and I finished up some of our tree hut scrubs. So the watermelon and lavender were both hers, but the Blue Lagoon was mine. I really enjoyed Blue Lagoon. Definitely would repurchase it. It was a nice unisex scent. Male or woman could use it. So it didn't lean like necessarily cologne, but it didn't necessarily lean too perfumey as well but it was definitely in that perfumey cologne vibe and it was nice and fresh so if I see Blue Lagoon again I definitely need to pick that one up because that one was one of my favorite tree hut scrubs. Another scrub I really enjoyed if you watch my channel y'all already know how I feel about JCB. I love JCB even though she gets a lot of hate. Really enjoyed this scrub in the shower it was the creamy body scrub paired it with the moisturizing body wash, the lotion and spray. <laughs> and to me, or with my body chemistry, this leans fresh, soapy, powdery floral. So for me, this is fresh and clean on me. So always will repurchase the Japanese cherry blossom. Another goodie I finished up in the moisturizing body wash, Summer Melody. I believe this had like two simple scent notes, but it was so good. Golden honeydew and bronze vanilla. I may have a mist of this left in my stash or like a half of a mist. So once that's gone, I'm going to be sad because this was a really good fragrance. But if it returns next year, I would definitely pick it up. No, I'm not. I'm lying. I shouldn't be buying no more body care, but it's repurchase worthy. <laughs> Along with my At The Beach Fine Fragrance Mist, I finished up the Moisturizing Body Wash. I think I still have a little bit of lotion left to use and pair with the rest of the beachy fragrances that I have in my stash, but really enjoyed this one in the shower. 
Pineapple Lime and Eucalyptus from the Aroma Oasis Aromatherapy Lime was really, really good in the morning as a pick-me-up scent because it was nice, fresh, and citrusy. So those mornings that I was dragging and didn't feel like getting my day started, this really helped in the shower. So this was really nice. I think the scent on my lotion changed up on me and started to smell weird, so I had to toss it, but I really enjoyed the body wash in the shower. Sunset Glow was another goodie. When this released in this packaging, it was my first time trying it out, and I see what all the hype was about. Really enjoyed this one. I believe I still have a lotion left and a mist, so I'll be pairing those together and finishing those off hopefully soon, but this fragrance is really, really good. It has scent notes of... Fresh Coconut, Sparkling Cherry, Seltzer, Dreamy Moonflower, and Caramelized Vanilla. All three of these fragrances are amazing. In the stars, when I first tried it out, I want to say last year, it became my signature scent and I fell in love with it. I had never had it before as long as it's been around. That was my first time trying it. Beach Nights was also a good one that I was glad Bath & Body Works bought back because I had never had it before. And fresh coconut and cotton is just bay. It's so good. It's long lasting on the skin. Even in the candle form, that fragrance is amazing and has a nice strength and throw. It's almost like a coconut fabric softener is the way that I describe the fragrance. Absolutely love it. I think I did back it up in the mist. So I do have some of the mist left, but I'm not sure if I have any more of the body cream. So if it returns, this would be the one exception where I would actually repurchase it because I love fresh coconut and cotton. And the fact that In The Stars is always there, once I run through that, at least I know I can always get my hands on In The Stars. Then I went through two CeraVe or CeraVe, however you pronounce it, face washes. Foam and Facial Cleanser is my favorite one. The Renewing Essay Cleanser was just okay, so that's a one-time purchase. But the Foam and Facial Cleanser is a staple in my skincare routine, so I will always repurchase that one. Then I went through six Dove Bar Soaps, two Pink, two Sensitive, and two Original. I love all three of these, so I will repurchase all three of them, whether it's in the Bar Soap or the Body Wash. Then I went through two more Bar Soaps, the Dial Gold Bar. I love this antibacterial bar of soap. Um, my grandma, this was like the only soap that she used, so I'm glad they still have this one around because every time I use it I think of her of course but this one is really good with cleansing your skin but not over stripping it but it does a good job in the shower and then the caress shea butter and brown sugar I enjoyed it in a bar soap but I prefer it in the body wash so moving forward I feel like I would pick up the caress more in the body wash than the bar soap but the dial gold bar I will always repurchase that one Two more body washes that I used up, Fresh Getaway and the Moisturizing Body Wash and the Peony and Rose Oil Dove. Love both of these fragrances. I don't think I have any more of the Fresh Getaway shower gel or body wash in my stash, but I do have a lotion and a mist backed up. And I love the Dove Peony and Rose Oil Body Wash. I love the Dove Rose Soap, so that will always be a repurchase for me. That's it, you guys. That's all I have for this Hygiene Empties video. Um, it did take me a while to get through this product. I think the last time I did a Hygiene Empties video was a couple of months ago. So I've been really working on using up stuff that I have in my stash versus constantly buying new things. So hopefully, as I continue on my journey of emptying things, I'll get through even more product. If you guys happen to like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, bye.